Alright guys, I've got a uh, new video here. This is going to be on two of my uh, fun devices here. Uh, and what I'm going to show you is actually how to get your Droid Bionic rooted. And this is just a new process because right now the only process to get it rooted is on Linux. Um, or installing a virtual Linux machine on your com Windows computer. And it's a real pain in the neck and people don't understand it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an easy way to do it with a Windows uh, little tool. So I'm going to show you what we're running right here. This is Android. 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, newest version, uh, newest OTA for this device. That's probably not going to get another one at this point. So I'm going to show you a super easy way to root this device. And then over here, what I've got is this is a Prism uh, Prism 2 by T-Mobile. It's a prepaid phone. This utility also works on this. It also works on the S4, which you've actually seen a video on it already. I'm going to be using Safe Root. And I've kind of tweaked it up a little bit and added some stuff to it just so you can see better support and things like that. And we're going to show you how to root these two devices. The process is exactly the same. I'm going to show it to you on my Bionic, but it does exactly the same on this device. So what you're going to do, let's go over to the computer here and let's see what we got. You're basically going to come in here and first thing you're going to do is whatever your device is, whether it's LG, it's, I don't even know how to say this device, which is the, what the prism is. It's a Hiawea. I don't even know how to say that. Um, a Motorola or a Samsung device, you got to find your drivers and go ahead and install them. This is Motorola, so I'm just going to install this one, which I've already done, so I'm not going to do it. But you just click on it and run it. It's very simple to install um, and follow through the steps. Once you've got your drivers installed, we're going to go ahead and go into the phone. And we got to make sure USB debugging is turned on. So you got to go into settings. And if developer settings are not turned on, just go to the build number and just keep tapping it a bunch of times and it'll turn on this setting right here developer options then you want to make sure it is checked or turned on up here and then make sure USB debugging is turned on okay and it's the same process on the prism or pretty much any jelly bean device and then you got all this junk that pops up so you gotta close all this stuff down close it out close it out and go ahead and do this. Let your drivers install. They will install down here probably under this. And actually it looks like these are all the ones I installed. Make sure they're all done and you've got everything installed on your device. Close that. Then you want to make sure that you have USB debugging up here and notification says connected as mass as mass storage. So that should be good. Um, from here all you got to do is come over here to the uh, install root.bat which is a Windows batch file. So just click on it. And it's pretty simple. It talks about it. I just added in some stuff in here. This is, like I said, is the exact same tool I used for the Samsung Galaxy S4. And I just added in some little information verbiage. I'd recommend trying this on other Jelly Bean devices. It may root your device. And if it doesn't, it'll just say it didn't and you move on. Not really a big deal. So plug in your phone and press any key to continue. So hit the space bar. And you can see it's running through a script. And it's going to do this searching cal sys like twice, I think. It says something like kernel, something else. And it will go ahead and push all the files. Actually, you can actually see it already pushed all the files. And it's just doing a, it says kernel dump right now. Um, let's see what, what it does here. Shouldn't take too long. It's pretty quick. And then what it's going to do is it's going to reboot the device. So there you go. It says it's done. All right, removing temp files, and it says, please wait, rebooting. And there you go. You can see it's rebooting the device. I'm going to go ahead and just show you this one really quick. Exact same process. It looks exactly the same. Um, and just show you I've got root access on this device right here, right there with SuperSU. And you can see I've already given it ADB shell access and some other things. Again, you've got the dumb pop-up stuff that comes up. Go ahead and close them all down. And next thing the script says to do is go ahead and wait until your phone reboots. When it's done, unlock it, and then press any key to continue. So let's let that finish booting. But like I said, you can see it's all it's all functioning here on the Prism. Two, very simple. It's a T-Mobile prepaid phone, but you have root access on it now. Now you can get rid of all that T-Mobile junk. You can see I've actually already deleted. Actually froze. I didn't delete it. 
froze pretty much all the T-Mobile applications that were on here this thing came with, which was a bunch of them. They were annoying me and slowing the thing down. So, but like I said, that does work exactly the same on here. Okay, so we've got everything done here. Let's boot it up. Again, you pop-ups for your drive and stuff. We can close these out. Go ahead, unlock the device. And then it says press any key to continue, so hit your space bar. Um, and it says it's going to ask for a super suit permission. So we're just waiting for it to come up with a pop-up on the device. It shouldn't take too long. That's, that's not a pop-up. That's because I don't have a SIM card in it. Uh, just keep waiting here. There it is. It just takes a little bit to come up. And then hit Grant. And your script should finish running here now. Now that it has ADB shell, it does take a second. It's got to make sure everything's working right before it proceeds on. What it's going to do next here is it's going to actually install BusyBox, which is just a utility that kind of runs in the background. It's not actually an application on your device. Um, and it just allows you to do more root access stuff to your device. Most applications, you know, use it and they pull from it. So installing BusyBox, you can see on the device it says ADB shell has been granted super user permission. And script's almost done. We're getting real, real close here. So pretty quick. We'll wrap it up here with a couple quick directions on the device itself. And you'll pretty much have root access. So there you go. Press any key to continue. And it closes out the utility. And the last thing you want to do is go into your app drawer. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There's Super Sue. Click on it. And it says this information, say no thanks. And you should be good to go. Now you can update this from the uh, App Store and get the new version of it. And then it may ask you to like update root uh, or update sue, I should say. And if it does, hit continue and then hit normal. And that will get everything functioning again for you. So there you go. If we want to double check to make sure we have root access, let's just go ahead and use root checker application. You don't have to do this. This just proves you have root access. So we're going to go to verify root access. Grant, that pop-up means you have root access. And there you go. Congratulations. Your Droid Bionic on 4.1.2 has root access. Super easy. Easy. This is the easiest way to get root access on this device. Way easier than that virtual machine and all those processes and steps to get it. Um, and like I said, again, same thing on the Prism 2. Exact same steps. This will root it. Try it on any of your Jelly Bean devices. Give it a shot. If it fails, it just says it fails in the middle of the script, and you close the script out, and you're done. Shouldn't mess anything up. Should be good to go. Worth a shot anyway. So that's it, guys. That's going to be my video on the Safe Root Rooting Jelly Bean multiple devices. Hope you guys like this. As always, Root Junkie out.